Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. Today is Poetry Friday, and we have two fabulous books for you today. We have Letters, Quotes, Poetry, Etc. from yours truly, Melissa Simone. Letters, quotes, poetry, etc. from yours truly, Melissa Simone. Our second book is Love, Love, Loves, Poems on the Meaning of Love for People in Love by Susan Polis Schultz, designed and illustrated by Stephen Schultz. Now, boys and girls, I have to tell you, both of these poetry books have a lot of poetry in them. So as previous Poetry Fridays that we've had, I will read quite a few pages from the books and then eventually we'll continue on, but we won't read them all today. So I'll read the first good couple of pages and then you get to finish it on your own. And I know it's going to be good. I could tell already because I love some poetry, and Poetry Fridays is what I've been looking forward to all week. You ready? Introduction. Oh, the thoughts my brain beholds. Whenever I think, what I write travels from the roots of my soul. So many triggers encourage my words. I have so much to say. I'm traveling this journey to make room in my headspace. About Erica. Bluebird paid me a visit on the morning of Wednesday. She wanted to tell me there was a new beginning coming my way. Her message from God wished me enlightenment, prosperity, and hope. And I couldn't help but to realize my novel will bring about this new growth. Bluebird paid me a visit the very next day on Thursday and tapped three times at my window before she flew away. How do I know that it was a girl, you ask? Well, a bluebird always represents a departed loved one or our spirit guide. And I understand that it was my cousin Erica trying to come inside. It's funny, her nickname was Birdie and of all things after death, she turned into a bluebird, just as beautiful before she left. I was working on my novel when she tapped the window near me. She would have loved my book, would have loved to read. So if you see a bluebird, understand what it means because good things are coming your way even with the loss of a loved one. Remember, all will be new and all will be okay. Little Girls, February 2020. Little Girls, Little Girls, I love you. Little Girls, Little Girls, dream big, loud, and beyond the clouds. Little Girls, Little Girls, dreams really do come true. A knight in shining armor does not have to rescue you, but... A knight in shining armor can show support and give unconditional love to you. You have the power to take care of you. The recipe is simple, strength, 
motivation, and the will to learn anything new. Little girls, little girls, stay true to the beautiful spirit inside you. Little girls, little girls, your beauty is an art. Little girls, little girls, learn that truth from the start. Little girls, little girls, lift each other up. Little girls, little girls, let knowledge be your thirst and fill your cup. Little girls, little girls, don't silence your words. Little girls, little girls, your voice will be heard. Little girls, little girls, please do not use your body to have your way. Little girls, little girls, what lies beneath your skin is how you live each day. Little girls, little girls, don't sell yourself short. Little girls, little girls, sometimes life will leave you hurt. Little girls, little girls, love your skin and hair. Little girls, little girls, what makes, what matters is that you care. Little girls, little girls, there will be brighter days. Little girls, little girls, don't cast yourself away. Little girls, little girls. Respect yourself and who you are. Little girls, little girls, you are the shining star. Little girls, little girls, love yourself. Even if you feel no one else does, you are the sun, the moon, and everything above. Little girls, little girls, one day I'll have to let you go. Remember always, you own and by right have the power to say no. Little girls, little girls, I love you by Melissa Simone and B. Harrison. Goodbyes aren't forever, July 28th, 1997. What a coincidence. That is my oldest brother's birthday. Whew, I'm feeling it. How tears sting my eyes when I think of sad goodbyes. Then I think myself clever when I say goodbyes aren't forever. How I seem not awake when my knees begin to shake, then I think myself clever when I say goodbyes aren't forever. How I begin to stutter and the butterflies start to flutter. Then I think myself clever when I say, goodbyes aren't forever. How my stomach begins to ache and my heart as if it may break. Then I think myself clever when I say goodbyes aren't forever. Feelings, July 28th, 1997. That was a good day. You are soft and kind and I love you so much. Each time I shiver is a reaction from your touch. When I look into your eyes, they always smile. Your playfulness and joy is the humor of a child. Your thoughts are free, yet always tame, always reflecting off nothing. But you, you speak to me in breezes. Your voice and your words so true. The glint on your personality, the shine on your face. Your soul is too beautiful that it's finer than lace. You bring me warmth to all of my cold. You don't have to tell me your thoughts untold. You are the color in my rainbow, the sun in my sky. You've taken me on a journey, together we fly. This Poetry Friday is going down. Despite my rants, a letter to myself. I am smart, intelligent, and beautiful. Why am I sitting here 
I don't know. I wish I knew something. I have morals, plenty of them, but my life is lost. I am sad, lonely woman. I am a sad, lonely woman. I need a man to show me some <clears throat> reciprocity. I need children to love, laugh with, and I need a new me. I mask my true personality. I take it off for no one, so I am still lost and lonely. I've reached a point where I don't care about myself. Maybe if I did care, I wouldn't be so lost and so lonely. And I wouldn't be sitting here. Despite my rant, I know my worth. Now I am standing, no longer sitting, because I am resistant, resilient. I'm sorry. Now I am resilient. Resilient. The ability to recoil or spring back into shape after bending, stretching, or being compressed, about to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. Miss, 2004, M-I-S-S. -S. Each day I sit here missing you, it truly breaks my heart. When I think of how far you and I are apart, I know one day we shall reunite again, even though it seems the waiting will never end. It would be careless to say I am okay when I know on the inside I can't stand another day. Once upon a time, my sky was blue, with laughter, love, and beautiful clouds too. Now my sky has slowly lost its shade, and everything in it has begun to fade. I know not, I know not right now, but I pray very soon we will run to each other on that glorious afternoon. And other than sharing our feelings so true, we will say to each other, did you know that I missed you? A letter to Erica, April 2019. Dear Erica, words can't explain the void that you have left in all of our hearts. So maybe we can instead thank you, thank you for the memories. Thank you for your beauty. Thank you for your laughter. Thank you for your tears. Thank you for your smart mouth. Thank you for being a force to be reckoned with. Thank you for your smile. Thank you for your rhythmless nation, your, <coughs> your rhythmless nation. Thank you for being such a scaredy cat. Thank you for sharing your joy of reading books. Thank you for your arguments. Thank you for being the first one to say I love you. And thank you for leaving us with five different Erica's, five beautiful angels, five reasons to smile, Five reasons to keep our head up, our hearts strong. Five of you to say I love you too every day. You will always rest in our hearts, our little birdie. And we'll stop there, boys and girls. These were all from letters, quotes, poetry, etc. From yours truly, Melissa Simone you can continue on reading this fabulous book because there is more and we are going to eventually finish it but we're going to continue today all right let us change it up a bit with me 
That was a good one, right? Whew. All right, Love, 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 Poems on the Meaning of Love for People in Love by Susan Polich Schultz. I love you. I cannot promise you that I will not change. I cannot promise you that. I will not have many different moods. I cannot promise you that. I will not hurt your feelings sometimes. I cannot promise you that. I will not be erratic. I cannot promise you that. I will always be strong. I cannot promise you that. My faults will not show, but I do promise you that. I will always be supportive of you. I do promise you that. I will share all my thoughts and feelings with you. I do promise you that. I will give you freedom to be yourself. I do promise you that. I will understand everything that you do. I do promise you that. I will be completely honest with you. I do promise you that. I will laugh and cry with you. I do promise you that. I will help you achieve all your goals. But most of all, I do promise you that. I love you. I look at your face. It is so strong. I look at your eyes. They are so soft. I hear you speak. Your words are so wise. I watch your actions. You are such an individualist. I talk to you. You understand the meaning behind whatever I say. You are everything that is beautiful. I am so lucky to have met you. And I want to tell you over and over again that I have fallen in love with you. And the more I learn about you, the more I love you. Everyone needs reassurance that they are loved. Once in a while, everyone needs to know that they are wanted, that they are important, that they are loved. I just wanted to tell you that if you ever feel this need, I would like to be the one to reassure you that you are wanted, that you are important, and that I love you. You must be happy with yourself before someone else can be happy with you. It takes two people who are self-confident and honest to be able to care about each other and to trust each other. It takes two people who know themselves and know what they want in life to be able to share with each other and to understand each other. It takes two people who have strong goals and active interests to be able to join one another's personal life and to be really one with that person. There are no two people better suited for each other than you and me to be able to love each other and to be the best friends forever. One more, boys and girls. When we first met, I held back so much, afraid to show you my deepest feelings. As I got to know you better, your gentleness and honesty encouraged me to open up, and I started to trust in you that I never had with anyone else. Once I started to express my feelings, I realized this is the only way to have a relationship. It is such a wonderful feeling to let myself be completely known to you. Thank you for, for thank you so much for showing me what two people can share together. 
I look very forward to spending many beautiful times with you. Boys and girls, we are going to stop there. Of Love, Love, Love by Susan Polish Schultz. Poems on the meaning of love for people in love. Now, boys and girls, I chose these two books for you today. Two beautiful poetry books. And it is Miss Reynolds with Board, Better Off Reading Every Day. Boys and girls, I do not own the rights to these books, but I love reading storybook magic to you and with you every single day. So it would be great if you would finish reading these books when I'm not around because they are two fabulous books and that's why I started them so I could trust you to finish them. It has been my pleasure to bring Poetry Fridays to you. And you know that little bored Debbie and I will be coming to you every Friday with Poetry Fridays. We will be in our jammies, in my case, in my robe, and our slippers. She's got her slippers on too. With our hair looking God knows what. And we will be reciting poetry, reading poetry, and talking poetry with you because it's the perfect opportunity on a Friday to have some poetry. Because I remember from writing poetry back when I was in school how good it makes me feel inside. And with reading these two books today, it really took me back. I hope you felt the same way and I will see you again soon for Poetry Fridays. It has been my pleasure, boys and girls. Go ahead, get your poetry on. God, it feels good. Bye.